Britain can use its post-Brexit freedom as a catalyst for environmental reforms which protect the seas around the UK by banning industrial supertrawlers which hoover up vast quantities of fish, and which have been blamed for the deaths of dolphins and other marine wildlife, campaigners have said. Chris Thorne, an oceans campaigner with Greenpeace UK, said by being bold, Boris Johnson can also protect the nation's struggling fishing communities. Mr Thorne said up to now the UK had been shackled by the Common Fisheries Policy, CFP. Mr Thorne wrote in Conservative Home, Brexit is done, and the UK is now stepping out into the world on its own two feet. Brexit has divided opinions, no doubt, but the UK has left the European Union so we need to seize the opportunities presented to us to make Brexit a success. Perhaps the biggest opportunity presented to us by Brexit is the chance to become a true world leader in protecting our seas, for too long now, we have allowed the waters which surround our islands to be degraded by industrial fishing. The CFP had made it challenging for the UK to implement stronger restrictions on such practices, regardless of whether vessels hailed from the UK or the EU, Mr Thorne explained. He added, super trawlers, vast floating fish factories, regularly stalk our seas, hoovering up unimaginably vast quantities of fish with nets up to a mile long. No super trawlers are UK-owned, bottom trawlers from the UK and EU rip up protected seabed habitats, undermining the entire marine ecosystem and indiscriminately killing marine life. Bottom trawling also releases significant quantities of carbon that have been stored in seabed sediments, with a recent study in Nature finding that annually, emissions from bottom trawling are equivalent to emissions from the entire aviation industry. The UK has the fourth highest emissions from bottom trawling globally. Such degradation of the world's oceans by industrial fishing had serious consequences, not only for the marine environment, but also for climate and, perhaps most importantly, for fishing communities. Mr Thorne added, simply put, if we allow high-intensity industrial fishing to continue throughout our seas unchecked, it will become ever more difficult for our fishers to make a living from fishing.